Hello you guys, so I wanted to update you with what I'm doing. I'm still struggling to decorate my apartment. I really wanted to make my apartment speak for itself, but at the same time I wanted to make it really Halloween. So it's really a tough theme for me this year. As you know, it's the vampire theme. And so I had to go get more bats. I went to a different 99 cent store this time and this is what I found. I found him. How cool is he? I mean, I have never seen anything like this. It's really unique, and the reason I say that because you can display him standing up with his two legs. See, has he, he has those flat feet, and you could also display him hanging around with this thing. Really nice details. Really, really unique. And he was two dollars. Totally worth it. I think this is the first time I ever pay. Two dollars for a Halloween decoration from the hollow from the dollar from the nine cent store. So there's a first for everything. And as you know, nine cent stores are going up with their prices. It seems. And then I found this one bigger bat, bigger version of the ones that I bought already. So really cool. And then I found this one. I really like 99 cent stores lenticulars, I still have some from years back and they really hold up, they don't, they don't get ruined at all and this is really, this is really fitting for my decor for this year, this year these are vampire women and they look really sinister and these don't look cheap, they look really nice for one dollar, you can't go wrong with that. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this coffin. This was, it was the last one they had. I don't think they made any this year, but they said it was from last year. So they only had one on their shelf. I didn't expect it to work just because, you know, it was the last one left. But to my surprise, it really st still does work. Really nice details on it with those bats. And it says trick or treat. And this is the back part for $1. I still like the Dollar Tree because all of their stuff is still one dollar. I, I haven't seen anything there beyond a dollar. So really cool. I hope Dollar Tree keeps up that nice tradition. And then I found this ghost. Um, I like that vintage look. They light up um, and they're solar. I bought some cats last year and these really, really light up. See? And I like using them during the Halloween day because, again, they do light up the outside really well. And what I like about them, their eyes follow you everywhere. It's one of those, you know, things where, like, you know, they, they look at you everywhere where you go. See? And that's really cool. And then also at the Dollar Tree, I finally found um, these coffins that I was looking for. I mean, I think they... They were just late in bringing them up, but how cool are these? And look at that. Really, I mean, this these detailed little coffins, I mean, they're like totally cool. And there's Dracula in there. And I needed more vampire stuff for my big horse. I went on eBay and I found this one for $4. Um, and which included shipping and she's really well detailed look at that I'm definitely going to display her throughout the year again I've developed this thing for busts in fact um, she came from the Dollar Tree I remember seeing them like maybe seven years ago from the Dollar Tree but I don't know why you never got one I think back then I just wasn't into busts but I kind of regret that so I had to pay four dollars for that so but she's really worth it though um you know and that's that and in case you're wondering what i'm listening to in the background i'm listening to jill tracy those of you who don't know her she's really dark she's really kind of like you know this dark mood she really gets me into the halloween season so i like i, I really listen to jill tracy every halloween i i could listen to her throughout the year too but I just really get into her music on Halloween season. And then I also do aromatherapy for holidays. I really like getting to the holidays with just aroma stuff. And I went to Ross and I got this one. 
Um, this one was 390. I don't like all that glitter, but I suppose it looks still pretty good. And they had a various kinds, but this one was the one that I really liked. Um, it smells really good, just really up to par with what I like. And then also at Ross, I found these candles. This is my favorite candle smell of all time. I always look forward to Halloween to buy them. And this is the tobacco wood smell. And they're by Bloom and Prospers. They're scented candle edition. And it comes with this little sugar skull charm. It smells really good. I can't wait to burn it. They usually have the tea lights as well. I didn't see the tea lights this year. Maybe they've discontinued them. Or I just wasn't looking more for i wasn't looking closely okay so that's that and i'm still looking for more coffins but i i don't want to spend any more money and i couldn't really find any so what i did um I'm, or what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be wrapping up my living dead dolls and displaying them like this and this is um, a tablecloth as you could see back there i used some of it and this is just pieces of it left and I might add like a red cross to there or something to make them look better. I have a lot of living dead dolls, but I stopped collecting them because they got really expensive. Let me show you another one. I'm going to be using her as well. She's Her name is No Hell, and I think this is the alternate version of one of their Halloween collections. She's really cool. I've just played her before on Christmas, but I've never taken her out of her box. Maybe one day I will. And then... This is another Living Dead doll that I have. Maybe I'll just display him like this because he does look very vampiric. But I don't. But I think those letters will make it look cheesy. You know, I don't know. I'll think about it. But I think I'll just wrap him up. I'll I'll wrap them up. His name is Kahot Mor. He's from their Moulin Rouge collection, and he looks really cool. Um, and I'll be wrapping him up, and we'll see how that works out. This one came out a little bit messy, this is the, the back part of it, but I'll display it, you know, facing this way. Maybe I'll do a better job with the other ones. So that's that. Um, so hopefully I finally get to finish this weekend and get to enjoy my apartment all decked out.